what do we know everybody on the way right now to a customer's place I have a caterpillar model number 3176 engine pretty simple pretty little engine um, it's actually a fairly new rebuilt engine too but had a fuel mixing and oil which uh, leads you to leaking injectors or leaking o-rings and sure enough it was leaking o-rings so after I diagnosed that, and if you guys want to know how I tested that and how I diagnosed it, let me know in the comments and I'll make another video um, showing you exactly how I did that because it is very simple and any one of you guys can do it with the right stuff. But got it diagnosed, called Cat, ordered the parts, Cat sent stuff, got here late last week. Um, it's raining and cold all late last week. So I didn't come out here. Uh, today is Monday, so we're going to go ahead and do it today because it's fairly nice. Uh, it's like 5 o'clock now. or close to 5 o'clock, so hopefully it holds out with some daylight. But I'll show you guys how I pop that injector out and how I go about changing those O-rings. And uh, Before I get into all that, I figure the technicals because people sometimes watch this just for the technical information. Technicals... As far as torque specs go, uh, your rocker arms, you're going to torque to 75 foot-pounds. Yeah, doggy's chasing me. But rocker arms are at 75 foot-pounds, and your injector hold-down bolt is 22 foot-pounds. So, the more you know. But I'm going to go ahead, jump out here, pull that valve cover off, and then I will resume this video. All right, you can see down in here, this guy right here is our injector that's leaking. So we need to take this off. So pull that bolt there and that bolt there. Once we pull these out, we will have a hold down bolt in here that we can get to for that injector. We can go ahead and take that off, pop everything out. Got to get rid of these wires here, but pretty simple. Okay, start with these. Got a seven millimeter socket. Just on my little nut driver here. Pull that off. Good. Come on now. There you go. Pull this one off. little washers on there too you want to grab we'll go ahead and pull these out we see they're also slotted so I reckon I probably wouldn't have had to pull that all the way off but I am taking this out so whatever now that I got that done I'm gonna go ahead and work on these and that is an 18 millimeter head And there is two. Go ahead and pull those bolts out and we'll lift that off of there very carefully. And here we go. You can see we got the rockers out. I'm going to be very careful with this. Don't want to lose any of the pieces. Don't want to screw up your overhead adjustments. But I'm going to go ahead and leave the bolts in there. That way everything is there. And we're going to go ahead and get that hold down bolt broke free. So these things, usually I take them off with the impact. 3 8 impact actually, but I left that in my shop. So I had to break them free. Use the ratchet, not a big deal. You can do this with hand tools. It's not that big of a deal. But we're going to go ahead pull the hold down bolt out now you can look at everything down in here right now but this guy right here is our hold down bolt should be a 13 millimeter head once we do that we should be able to get our heel bar under there and pop everything up so let's give her a shot There we 
go. Go ahead. Pull that out. You can see where are we at? There's our bushing. I want to make sure that we save that bushing, so we're going to need that. And then we're going to verify our bolt length. So we've got a new bolt, which is what you're supposed to do. So we'll put that bushing onto this bolt when we go and get everything thrown back in there. Now we're going to go ahead and underneath this hold down, we're going to stick our heel bar and we're going to give her a pry. Now, I have a lot of different heel bars. I love my indexing ones. I've um, got some in my shop. I did have some in this pickup. I don't know where they went to. Don't have a clue. I'm guessing somebody else used them and it didn't get thrown back, but it is what it is. But I still got this handy dandy guy, and this will work. I think a lot of the kids going through school, this is actually what they're using because they're so cheap. But indexing ones are definitely better, in my opinion, because you can get the right angle that you want but this will work just fine okay so you can see I got my heel bar underneath the hold down and we're just gonna pop her that's it that's all it takes not much at all we should be able to go down here just like that there is our injector and there is our problem Pretty, pretty cool. And now I gotta go find that. So yeah, injector hold down. You wanna keep a hold of that while you're doing it. I'm trying to do this all with one hand, so yeah, it fell off. Not a big deal, but here's your injector. There are the O-rings. Those is bad. Not a big deal. That's why we're here. That's why we fix them. They are, they're buggered up. That's why we call Jim. Okay, got O-rings changed on the injector. Went up top in the engine and I cleaned everything out in the injector bore. Spray brake cleaner down there, scrubbed it up a bit. Um, got a brake bleeder. It's what I use, one of the vacuum suction style ones. Works really good. Go down in there, suck that brake clean and all that other debris out of there. Works fantastic. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lubricate this with engine oil. I'm going to slide it down there nice and easy. Make sure I put my hold down in there. And then we will start putting things in and torquing things down. So pretty, pretty easy so far. Well, yeah, kind of run out of daylight, but got the injector in, torqued down the hold down bolt, 22 foot pounds. Put in the rockers, which is a little bit of an adventure, get all the push rods right, but got them in, got them torqued down to 75 foot pounds per side. Got our wires put back on, so now all I got left to do is the valve cover. And we're done. So, kind of run out of light here, which is kind of what I expected. Stupid daylight savings time anyway. Darn chin whiskers keep grabbing my hair. But I'm going to go ahead and throw this valve cover on. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do the bill up today or do it tomorrow or whenever. But get a bill figured out. Um, Cat, my dealer that sent me these, charged me a ton for shipping. And I got a new parts guy there. I told him the model number and whatever that I had. Told him what I needed. And I ended up getting sent a ton of different O-rings. Ton of different bolts. I mean, all sorts of stuff that I didn't actually need. So, you know, when everything's said and done and I build a customer out for this. I mean, I really don't mark my stuff up as far as parts go. Just out of courtesy. <laughs> And I'm going to kind of take a wash on this one, just with all the extra stuff he sent me. Now, could I send it back? I could, but I'm going to end up using it again. There are other engines like this around here. Just a little frustrating that they sent me all that stuff when I didn't want it. But that's all right. 
it'll get used up but anyway guys i'm gonna get this finished up here and i'm gonna head on home so hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoy making it as always thank you guys for watching